What's up guys, uh, I'm Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. I'm a UFC fighter, welterweight UFC fighter. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge anime fan. And this year, I got to go to the 2019 Crunchyroll Expo. Definitely a privilege for me and I had a great time. I was definitely geeking out. It was amazing. We are headed to Crunchyroll Anime Convention. Play, walking around in different get ups. I passed the Jedi just a minute ago. I'm excited we're gonna go in here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully One Punch Man will be here. Have some fun, you know? Play some games. I am super excited to get some anime merch. I'm wearing my own merch, which is very rare. Steven Wonder Boy All right, we're walking up to it. My man Jonathan right here hooked us up with some passes. We're here at Crunchyroll. It's gonna be awesome, man. Check this place out. been here at Crunchyroll for two to three, three hours, I think. We're all decked out with freaking uh, Crunchyroll merch, but it's been great, man. Crunchyroll's been taking care of us. Awesome gameplay, awesome art, anime artwork. Going into anime, actually, I was a young kid. I was probably 11, 12 years old, and I came across an anime video at my cousin's house, and it was uh, Ninja Scrolls. I'm a big ninja fan. It was super cool. I like the whole fight scenes and just the art of the anime, which you can't get on a real film. It's not just a cartoon to me. And my dad always says that, like, man, you're 36 years old. Why are you watching cartoons? I'm like, whoa, dad, it's not cartoons. It's anime, it's a big difference. I mean, you, they go deep into characters' detail and background and you fall in love with these characters as they get up. Like, for instance, Naruto, um, you know, watching him grow up as a young ninja, making it to be a ninja and all of the hardships and, and friendships that he's met and gathered along the way made him the ninja that he is. And a lot of it, I can relate to myself in my training. Um, the way I kind of grew up too, you can kind of relate to that. Uh, me, especially growing up in the martial arts, you know, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for those relationships and those hardships that I've been through. You know, same thing with Dragon Ball Z. I remember growing up, you know, in kickboxing. That is what pushed me to be the best kickboxer, to be the best athlete, to be as strong and as fast as I possibly could, was watching them train, you know, and how hard they would train and push themselves to be the best. And that's literally got me through so much and pushed me so much um, in kickboxing was because of anime. Crunchyroll roll is super cool. Um, I've got the app, I've downloaded the app, and it's so easy. For one, when I did, before I was trying to find stuff all over the internet, and you can't get in this episode, but you can get that episode, and you're skipping these in there, because you couldn't find it all in one area. Crunchyroll, roll, you can find all of it in one spot literally thousands and thousands of, of different anime out there. You can get it in one location, Crunchyroll. And I love to binge watch, so that's what I do. As of right now, I'm watching Demon Slayer, which is amazing. I've never been to a Crunchyroll Expo. I figured it was gonna be just like some regular Expo, but it definitely exceeded my expectations. There was 
a lot of stuff to do there. All right, so I'm playing Grand Summoners. Ready. Here we go. Dude, we won. How's it going, dude, bro? Dude, it took me two seconds to win that game. There's one punch man. Uh, I got Genos on my team. I got Lord Bor uh, Boros. I Boros on my team. An anime that I didn't even know about, I was kind of introduced to at Crunchyroll. You know, through Crunchyroll, you're able to, to, to watch the anime, but at the expo, you're able to see it live. You're able to get merchandise. You're able to see the art, the different art and stuff. There, which is where I got a lot of my stuff behind me at the Crunchyroll Expo. So, I'm a big Kakashi Sensei fan, was able to find Kakashi art, Street Fighter, One Punch Man, we got it all. We got Sasuke hanging out in the back. Uh, we got it all there, which you're, you know, it's kind of, that's, this stuff is kind of hard to find. You can't just walk up into Walmart and find this stuff. So, um, it was really cool to be able to go and see the characters live. So, for all you anime fans out there, make sure you're there next year. I hope to see you there, by the way, because it is an anime, Fans dream. I'm signing, the, I'm signing the Crunchyroll wall, making it official. Woo! Wonder Boy was here.